Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and warm welcome from my side as well to this seminar. Very pleased to see all of you here, and uh, thank you for the morning session present presenters. I think the topic that we are dealing with today is very interesting and uh, very important. I will give you a short overview of this above project um, program regarding three countries with this pilot plant that is topic of this final seminar. These slides we already saw in previous lecture. This shows the geographic scope of above project. And besides this pilot plant A, we also are having pilot B, which is German pilot plant dry digestion. And this, this illustration shows uh, different work packages of this project. Work package 3 is the one that we are today talking about, and work package 4 is the German story. So in, within Baltic Sea region, two pilot plants have been circulating in different testing locations. But first, these pilot plants needed to be constructed. We are rather broad partnership in this project. We are having partners from six countries, which are shown here. Academic institutions, also uh, authority type of institutions. And as key technology provider is Finnaflag OY, that we here heard the latest presentation from adjunct professor Elias Hakalehto. And then for the Poland, the service provider for scientific operation, uh, Technical University from Wroclaw. Not to forget, we have been operating in six testing locations altogether in Above. So we have six more cooperation organizations. And uh, these all are companies, the farms, there are industrial companies, also waste management company in different countries. And we also have other associated partners. Also Norway has been looking what we are doing as one link there. To summarize the project idea a little bit, we already heard uh, in the very first lecture today from um, Haru Ekestam. We have this uh, solid basis from remove project, three years collaboration between the same countries. And then above is continuing from that with these two technologies that rose up during remove, uh, beer refinery, the topic of today, and dry digestion, the German story. And uh, why we selected these two about this biorefinery, it uh, succeeded very well in so-called innovation processes that were uh, taken in Remove project. It scored very well regarding innovativeness and sustainability. So it was very natural link to continue with this biorefinery concept. And now in Above, these two concepts have been tested in this semi-industrial scale uh, via these mobile pilot plants. And uh, the testing of them has been always done together with uh, potential implementers or investors. And uh, we are seeking for proof of technology that is now presented today. And we can say that we are in the heart of many topical uh, drivers, climate change, renewable energy needs, and also waste management, very hard targets regarding that. 
here's picture of these two pilots. You already saw the upper one, and now below is this German pilot plant. It is built in six meter container, and it is dry digestion, making biogas. We have here engineer Tim Freidank from Australia University of Applied Sciences, and uh, Sylvia Dresen-Hartung from the same organization, and uh, Professor Thorsten Ahrens was leading that story. We could have, ha have another day around those results, but it was very interesting uh, program as well. And uh, the key target groups for ABOVE are anyone who could be implementer of these technologies or investor. They might be farms, uh, food and forest industry. They are producing lots of biomasses, very high quality ones, homogenic ones. Then waste management companies, they are seeking for new technologies for their business and sewage treatment plants. And we can, of course, continue with the list forward. And once more, where these pilot plants were tested, pilot A in Finland, in Poland, in Sweden, we will hear soon the results of those more. And this pilot B was tested first in Lithuania, in a very small farm, then in Estonia, in a very big, big farm, and then in Sweden, uh, in waste management center and biogas facility. Always different case, different people, different wastes, and uh, lots of interest. And what we are desiring to achieve via these steps, we would like to have continuation projects that the industry would be driving, targeting full-scale plant investments of these two technologies. And therefore, also parallelly with these testing activities, so-called um, investment memos have been created, and they are still in process, I should say, but they are completed very soon, within one month, and um, also business models have been looked after. How this technology could be turned into business and by whom? And also regional point of view has been uh, emphasized that uh, researcher Thomas Huopana gave it a speech. And now we have five minutes, which is enough, because when it comes to pilot A, uh, design and realization and testing. I will show you one short video.
Okay, so this video summarizes a little bit of this process, very intensive process, and uh, not, of course, everything can be uh, included in the video. There was m many other branches as well, but uh, to get some overview. And just to finalize this presentation, just uh, point out that uh, we are talking about biorefinery, and uh, I have been thinking that this is a uh, biorefinery in two senses. Uh, the material is biomass, but also the conversion method is bio, as we have learned. Biorefinery is also uh, talking uh, in various other methodologies, but here we are really using the same as nature is doing. And uh, I warmly welcome you to look our website where we put all the materials, all the outputs we disseminate. This is our main way of disseminating. And uh, I wish you a nice continuation of this seminar day and visit to this actual uh, pilot A. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ari, and please.